going to talk about how you build your data room. And why don't, why don't I just jump on down there? Because this will make sense. As you're doing your late night uh, researching on any particular topic and you guys find an article that is really interesting, that maybe to Bob's point speaks to the phenomenal future growth anticipation of the industry or any of the other factors, when we get to data room at the very end, you guys may have already seen this, what we're going to recommend for you, if you haven't already, is to just build an online data room for your investors. Uh, and it's as simple as, of course, as you guys know, you get a, a box.com or a Dropbox, use the free version. The question always is, is how do I design and utilize the data room? Well, because you're going to have the luxury of this investor due diligence report, one of the things that I'm recommending is to actually utilize these sections here that I'm highlighting for you guys as your folders inside of the data room. And they're basically the topics that we're going to cover over the next 12 weeks. So if you guys have that data room, or even if you just go ahead and build the folder on your desktop, and you guys, like Bob said, you're, you know, have a drink or you're up early in the morning and you side the team, hey, let's do a little bit of homework and someone finds something really cool or interesting, print it, format it, drop it in the folder. And then therefore, when we're all finished up, you'll be able to take that folder, onload it to a cloud system, and then you're going to basically be able to create little links, just like I did for all of you when I sent you your Google reports. And these would where I would put the links for your individual data rooms. 